Hello there, I am Giant Girl with more Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on the Soysian Town and covered uh, all the st well, all the um, the main stuff you can do in Soysian Town. And then we went on to Soysian Ruins and we found an unknown. We didn't catch it. I just showed how like little HP, uh, little experience it gives you for your Pokemon when you battle it. And then we got uh, I think that's about it. We got like a couple items, like a nugget and. The um, odd incense mind plate stuff like that. So, yeah, let's see if we can just pick some berries right here. A spear berry. Okay, we got this. Nice. And uh, I, I know the furthest one to the right is a pineapple berry. I think the third one's a cherry berry. Let's see if I'm right. This is a cherry berry. Oh, it's a raspberry. They look so similar for some reason to me. But I know for sure the one, the next one's a pineapple berry. That one, always, that design always stands out to me, so that's how I always remember it, you know. Um, I'm gonna put a Pell on, I guess. No, I don't want to go on my bicycle yet. <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's put their Pell on. Okay, I have to scratch my arm for a second because itchy I don't know <laughs> okay so here okay I'm gonna, find, I'm gonna find a way to pay attention to what trainer type this trainer is uh, my Pokemon toughened up from work on the ranch I'm right I'm right I'm right proud of them Okay, so I figured out that trainer category, trainer type is like rancher. Uh, so like rancher, um, I forget his name. I forget his name actually. Rancher Marco, I think. Yeah, Rancher Marco. That's it. Okay, so you need to be on the right gear for this, but then um, you want to use your bicycle to go up this slope. So there we go, and we're off to a double battle. Okay, with two twins. Yay, we're gonna battle with lots of Pokemon. Yay, we're gonna battle with a with three trainers. That was a bit of an annoying battle because that Clefairy used follow me, which means that it becomes the center of attention like it says. And then we and then even if I targeted the Pikachu with a move from either Bronzor or well Bronzor specifically, it would automatically go and attack the Clefairy. So that Pikachu still stayed on that in the, uh, stayed, you know, not fainted for like f three or four extra turns at least or something like that. It's crazy. And um, yeah, it was so close to fainting too. It's it like, like it was in the deep red, and it wasn't. <laughs> we couldn't faint it in the first like couple of turns, you know, because it survived and didn't faint till later on. So I'm gonna go back to the Pokemon Center and heal real quick. Okay, right back here. We're gonna get off my bicycle, but we can battle this um Pokemon trainer right here. I think she's a breeder. 
my computer down and check this out look at the let's do my pokemon's fur and this trainer i know has a happy knee that gives out a lot of experience so it's very worth battling this uh trainer for if you want to get your pokemon a lot of experience so let's, go, let's take her on Okay, so yeah, that was a pretty fun battle, I guess. Getting a lot of experience. Here's a great ball, which is really nice. Um, I'll switch. Oh yeah, also Rose good level 25 in that battle. Let's put Inferno up front, I guess. And take on this, I think it's just a Aroma Lady. I'm okay, okay, she's just, she's just a Pokemon Breeder, okay. I'm okay Breeder, but I'll do my very best. Okay, there we go, and uh, Inferno grid level 25 there, so that's awesome. And we'll put Karen and Bronze up front, I guess, then, because for this double battle that's coming up. No, don't go, on the, don't go on the grass, don't go on the grass. In fact, I'm going to go on my bicycle, so I can't go on the grass. Because I don't want to run into a Pokemon. Well, I still might have my pull up, but I, just to be safe, I don't know. I'm really worried or something. Uh, Matt says, oh, I s I'll show y'all how tired I've bonded with my daughter. Uh, Eva says, I can get away with slacking off if I have my Pokemon out. Okay, I'm gonna adjust something real quick. Okay, so I just had to adjust some windows on my computers, um, like specifically Adocity, but that's okay, it's all good now. Here's another jogger, I'm still, uh, I'm recording in the morning, um, so yeah. And in this recording session, uh, I'm still recording in the morning, I guess you could say, but yeah, let's battle him. I'm warmed up and limber, oh, I'm okay to battle. Okay, um, Karen almost grew level 25, but I forgot to mention the last part in the last uh, video, not in the last battle, sorry, that, uh, it's bronze gear level 25, so that's pretty cool. I'm gonna give, uh, um, Karen a couple potions, though, to heal, to heal her, because she is low on HP. And one more potion should do it. There we go, nice. And... I go up here, power off, okay. Uh, if I think this person gives you a TM, I'm taking a rest, so I, if I were a bird Pokemon, it would be a roost, haha. <laughs> oh, I should rest up, you should rest up too. TM 51, which is roost, which is like, it'll restore half of its max HP of a flying type Pokemon or anyone, any Pokemon that can learn roost by TM. So yeah, if a Pokemon if they had to keep flying forever, a bird Pokemon would eventually crash. 
Yeah, that makes sense. So if we go over here, let me get off my bicycle. Look, we found some Psyduck. The Psyduck are standing firm and they're inclined to move at all. Okay, we're gonna have to, get, we're gonna have to fix that later, I guess. Uh, in this cafe here, it's the Moo Moo Milk Cafe. And we can talk to some people. Let's start with battling this waitress, for example. Welcome, this place... Uh, not all, everyone battles you in this cafe, though. Welcome, this place is my pride and joy. In that last battle, Karen grew to level 25 and learned assurance. I got rid of Peck because I have wing attack and Peck only had 35 power and Pursuit still had um, 40 power and you know Nightshade does the equivalent to what the Pokemon was like. For example, Nightshade would do 25 HP because my because Karen's tw level 25. It's equivalent to the Pokemon's level when they use Nightshade. So hopefully that makes sense. So let's switch to Jetta. I'm a collector and I'm proud of what I know about Pokemon. Would you like to test your knowledge? Yeah. Yeah, um, poor Jetta fainted, uh, so I'm, I feel bad about that because I thought she could just take one more rock through, but I was wrong. Anyway, I think this guy is uh, my, Mr. Mimes and Mime Juniors, if I'm not mistaken. We are having a heated discussion over Pokemon the way collectors do, and I have um, Karen up front so I can try out Karen's new assurance and see how much damage she can do against the psychic type Mr. Mime and Mime Junior. Okay, so that collector had all Mr. three Mr. Mimes, just like the other collector had three Sudowoodos, so no Mime Juniors there. Youngster, you've been playing, you've seen the Psyduck uh, huddled outside. Psyduck are Pokemon that suffer from chronic headaches. I'm afraid we'll have to wait for them to get better. Yeah, I guess for now we'll have to do that. Uh, also, Karen could level 26 um, in that last battle, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And here's... Uh, Another rancher, howdy trainer, traveler. Some of our cu customers are rowdy types. They want to battle, but pay no, pay, but pay no mind, and stay a while. Yeah, I'm gonna actually. You can buy moon milk here, which I'll show off right here. We, they, of course, we only had moon milk, yeah, because they just have moon milk for 500 poker dollars. It's a good deal, so um, it's really nice to just, pay, you know, get a lot of these, you know, because. They heal 100. They heal 100 HP of one Pokemon, which is really good. It's really nice. Um, yeah, let's see what, what the first part she's saying. Um, how are you doing? What you having? Of course, all we have, all we ever have here is, all we ever have is Moomin milk. But like in um, when a bottle, yeah, and you say yes or no. But like, the thing is in Di in platinum, you can buy like 10 at a time, like a 10 pack. But in diamond and pearl, you have to buy them one, but well, you just have to buy them one at a time basically and that can get really annoying sometimes but it's okay we'll do it anyway cuz we do like playing well I do like playing through this game a lot I mean fourth generation is like my second favorite generation 
third generation is my favorite, including uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green in that ma in that case, you know, like Hoenn region and then uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, the remakes to the first generation games. I really do like that, um, the, um, ge that generation. So I'm going to just get a few more. So, you know, it's nothing too big. Nothing too big at all. Let's see how many. I don't. I lost. I didn't even count how many books I have. But let me just count right now. Let's see. Bag. Um. Let's actually move it to top. I have nine women book. Okay. Um. Select this and put it all at the top. I'll buy like two more women milk to make it eleven, and then see what I want to do from there. But yeah, it's really easy in Platinum how you can just buy the 10 pack and just buy it in like increments of 10 instead of just one. But what are you gonna do? Okay, so yeah, 11, 11, 11 on all the healing, on the HP items, HP restore items. Okay, cool. I'm gonna heal up at the Pokemon Center again, so I'll be right back. Okay, um, as I'm looking at my team, uh, Jetta is the only one who's still level 24, but he's, but she's really close to leveling up, like 668 experience points. So that's pretty cool. Um, but um, I'm gonna go up to Route 215 now. But I'm gonna cut the part right here. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walk the Guide part. In the next part, we'll take on Route 215 and hopefully get to Veilstone City finally, where we can get our four third gym badge of Sinnoh. So this has been Genetic Road again. I would like to mention again goodbye, and hope to see you guys next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redo Walkthrough Guide.